Hey guys, this is Mr. VPN, and today we're going to be looking at how to connect to a VPN server in South Korea. And this is going to be very easy. You're going to see it's going to take about two or three seconds once we get started. First, I wanted to kind of show you a little bit of a map of all of the server locations that will be available with Viper VPN, which is the VPN that I'm using for this demonstration today. Here's a nice map. Here's all the flags. All of these are included in the same package. There are actually, even though there's, what, 20-something countries here, 30 maybe, there's 700 VPN servers. So each country is going to have several servers at that location. Now, the reason, that, one of the reasons I choose the Viper VPN is because they have very nice apps. They're very easy to install, and they're very fast to connect to. So I will show you that now. I'm going to connect to South Korea. And that's it. We now have a Korean IP. Is that not pretty easy? There we go. Korea, Korea, and Korea again. And that's about it. The last thing that I want to let you know well, a couple things. There's live chat support, which is another cool feature of their service. The main difference between the basic and the pro package is going to be the number of connections. So with basic, you get one. With pro, you get two. So that's good if you want to connect a computer and a phone at the same time. The other one is going to be the VPN protocols. So we've got PPTP and OpenVPN, which is going to... Uh, the PPTP is less secure while well, OpenVPN is more secure. PPTP is going to be maybe a little bit faster. OpenVPN is going to be less fast but more secure. So it just depends on what you want. If you're looking for streaming TV only, I might go with basic. If you're looking for privacy and security, then I might go with OpenVPN. Either way, there's a three-day free trial for all packages. So I will give you the link in the description below. And you can try it out for three days and see if it works for whatever you want to do with the VPN. That's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.